Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a brief lesson uh, going into the topic uh, of the MOTB. Uh, which is pursuant to Revelations 13, 13 and 16, uh, would be a device, okay, the size of a grain of rice, okay, that's directly linked, all right, to the CBDC, the central uh, bank digital currency, in the form of this uh, new monetary system, uh, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, in the form of these international banking families, they're trying to erect, okay, uh, in efforts to uh, gain uh, the souls uh, of you people and overall dominion of the planet earth and be as a god uh, with being able to have the ability uh, to track uh, every transaction you make uh, every move every step you make and uh, ultimately be able to track your carbon footprint uh, we'll be able to put a limit uh, on how much uh, you spend and how much you do physically as well. And, you know, this is a diabolical plan uh, of the global elites that, you know, our elders and apostles through the Holy Spirit uh, have been prophesying uh, for decades, man. You see, so, you know, it's evident, you know, who Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah is dealing with. You know, you still have individuals, uh, in, this, in a mind state that the MOTB is anything but what it truly is, which is that device, uh, which is the size of a grain of rice. And you even have individuals outside of the truth uh, that are aware of uh, what the MOTB is. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to go into a, uh, a short clip uh, from a, a YouTube channel called Redacted, okay, hosted by uh, Clayton, and Natalie and uh, they pretty much are going to go into it they're going to go into uh, you know Carl Schwab uh, the rhetoric he's been spewing uh, they're going to speak on this device and uh, you know what inspired the lesson was actually uh, right around the 15 minute mark when uh, Natalie was going into how she you know doesn't believe that it's linked to the MOTB you know that spirit of doubt but uh, it's not a surprise, you know what I mean? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is blinding whom he, whom he wants to blind. And he's opening the eyes of whom he wants to open the eyes of. Ultimately, people that even know what it is, they, they still, uh, you know, are in a position where if the Lord doesn't show you mercy pursuant to Revelations 3 and 10, uh, ultimately, um, you know, you're still doomed. You see, because pursuant to Revelations 3 and 10, let me go get this real quick. A lot of people are under this false pretense that because they know what it is, you know, they're going to resist it. They're not going to do it. You know, you have to understand this man is going to bring this thing upon upon you. It's called the outward temptation for a reason. OK, you're going to be tempted. You know, this is not it's not going to be a uh, you're going to be in a position of a straight, which is a position of a of difficulty. OK, when this man offers you this thing. OK, it's not going to be a walk in the park. And pursuant to this precept we're going to read right here, the Spirit of the Lord got to be resting upon you, man, in order for you to resist this thing. The book of Revelation, chapter 3 and verse 10, and it reads, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, man. Patience, when you go into that word patience, it goes into suffer. Okay? So there's going to be suffering that comes with this, man. You know, there may be days without, without you eating. You know, you may be down to, you know, wearing one sock. Uh, boxes and blinking out of one eye, man, before Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, comes to your rescue. 
You know, this thing is going to come down to the wire, man. Okay, the salvation of the elect is going to come down to the wire. Those that are preserved until the final moment to be beamed into chariots, man. Okay, this is not going to be no walk in the park. You know? You still spraying, you still spraying uh, toilet tree on in the morning time. And, you know, throwing on deodorant, taking a nice cold, warm shower, however you like it. You know? Now, man. Scripture goes into how we're going to be pilgrim. We're going to be like pilgrims on the earth, man. It's going to be real, real uh, difficult, okay, out here. You know? Let's read this from the top. Revelation 3 and 10, it reads, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, and how you keep the word of the Lord's patience is you, you endure until the end. You endure until the end. You fight until the end, man. Okay? Even if it means, uh, you know, having to have to face a guillotine, man, or a firing squad. You see? The scripture goes into he that seeks to save us. Now, let me get a quick precept real quick. Through the spirit. Let's go to Mark 8 real quick. Hey, because the elect, they're going to hold fast, man. You see? The elect, they're going to hold fast. Lord willing, with part of that precious number. You see? Let's get this real quick. And we'll go back. Revel uh, Salak, yeah? the book of The book of St. Mark, chapter 8 and verse 35. And it reads... For whosoever will save his life, okay, shall lose it. So if you decide to get this karagma, this MOTB, okay, and you find yourself in a position where you get to get food and water and, you know, shelter and some form of comfort, as Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, erects this diabolical enterprise, guess what? At the end of the day, you're going to lose your life, man. Why? Because pursuant to uh, Revelations uh, 16, Okay, you're gonna end up catching the big C, man. If you don't know what the big C is, I'll spell it out for you. C A N C E R. Okay, you're gonna get an ulcer, a sore. Okay, on the area of that of, of of that device that's implanted in you. Why do you think that is? Because there's radiation pumping through your hand, man. That's why. You see, and ultimately, if that don't take you out, okay. <laughs> hey, you're gonna have a missile with your name on it, man. And in between, in between catching the big C and the missile falling on the top of your head, there's there's numerous calamities that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to send in the form of plagues, man. Okay, from teeth to wild beasts to silver unrest, pestilence. Okay, there's many snares that are gonna be laid out. Hey, oh, I, I how could I forget famine? Okay, the double barrel shotgun, famine, man. A lot of you are going to perish with a C-hip in you by the way of famine. You're going to starve out with a C-hip in you. You see, because two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to be foolish enough to listen to your arch enemy, whom is none other than Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, who's always steered you wrong. Okay? History testifies against him, man. History proves that he's not on your side. Okay? History proves that he's against you, man. Okay, his legislation proves that he's against you, man. Here it is. You're still on his legislation as three-fifths of a man, man. You see that? Hey, wake up, Jake. Let's continue on. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life, okay, for my sake. Right, and this is red letter, man. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. So those of us that lose our life for Yahweh Shai's sake, right? And the gospel's sake, man. Right And the Gospels, okay? The same shall save it. First Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, man. Those that die in the Lord are going to be raised up first, man. Okay? You will reap the benefits of being part of the first resurrection, man. Okay? Hey, but it's all easier said than done. Again, going back to the point. Revelations 3 and 10. It's going to take the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai resting upon you, man. Resting upon us to resist. You see? Revelations 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, man. And temptation, when you go into that word temptation, it goes into being tempted from, uh, of doing something evil. Okay? <laughs> and it's an evil thing for you to take that karagma, that MOTB. Why? 
because you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You're bowing down to an idol if you do so. Okay? Whether you believe it or not, that device is an idolatrous image. And Lord willing, we'll prove it to you towards the end of this lesson. Right? Which shall come upon who? All the world. There's no fleet of Africa doctrine. Okay? There's no leaving Babylon the great America and go to Europe or uh, Costa Rica. Okay? <laughs> or island off the coast of uh, Australia. No, man. Ain't nowhere you going. Okay? That's going to be able to deliver you from the hour of temptation. The only way we're going to be delivered out of the hour of temptation, well, we're reading it right here. It's through Yahweh Shai. To try them that dwell upon the earth, man. See, we're all going to be tried. Every last one of us, man. Man, woman, and child. Okay? But as it says in Sirach 24, we need not to faint, man. Why? Let me get this real quick. Let's get it. Sirach 24, real quick. And 24, and it reads, faint not. Okay, faint not. The book of Ecclesiastes is also known as the book of Sirach. Chapter 24 and verse 24 and it reads, Faint not to be strong in the Lord. Why, Lord? That he may confirm you. See, this trial is, is going is gonna, <laughs> is gonna to determine who's confirmed, man. Cleave unto him. And only the elect are going to pass this final examination. Cleave unto him. For the Lord Almighty is, oh man, is power alone. Right. And beside him, there is no other savior. But we understand that he's sending his only begotten son, okay, to deliver us out of this uh, uh, spiritual Sodom in Egypt. Just like he sent them the first time. Out of ancient, uh, to get us out of ancient Egypt. Yeah, those of you that don't believe in the sun, yeah, yeah that, that angel in Exodus 23rd chapter, that was Yahweh Shai, man. <laughs> okay, that angel you can read about in Exodus 23, when the Lord said, uh, 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 listen, uh, listen to him, you know what I mean? He won't pardon your transgressions. Hey, that was Yahweh Shai, man. Hey, if you can receive that, if you can, if you can see it. But again, we understand not everybody has that vision. You see? <laughs> Only the elect have that vision, starting with the men of the Lord, the prophets, man, trickling down to the believers. They're that innumerable multitude, man. This is how we can see this, this, this vision of the Karagma coming to pass, man. Okay, again, which our elders and apostles have been prophesying for decades, man. You've been, Jake, you've been being told that this is it. Okay, and matter of fact, let's go here. Habakkuk. Chapter 2 and verse 3, and it reads, as a matter of fact, let's go here. Now, I'm going to grab that short clip from Redacted. I just wanted to grab some precepts real quick. It's all through the Spirit, too. I had some precepts lined up, but okay. <laughs> hey, the Spirit wants to do what it do. Let's do it. The Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 3, and it reads, For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And this vision, let's go get it. Okay, the vision, which you're going to find out. Okay, the vision are the prophecies, man. Strong's H2377. Chazon. Chazon. Right. And when you come down to the biblical usage, what you got? Vision, 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 oracle, okay? Oracle, prophecy. You see? <laughs> and starting with the men of the Lord, these prophecies are being expounded upon. Okay? And you've been being told by the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, okay, on down, okay, that the MOTB is the device the size of a grain of rice. And now here it is. Everybody and their mother's talking about it, man. But don't forget where you heard it first, man. Okay? Hey, divine communication, right? 
divine communication. Who's the, the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is communicating first and foremost with his men. As it says in uh, what's that, first Samuel? Let's go get this real quick. You Akiyam know where I'm going. First Samuel 9. And verse 9, and it reads, Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, thus he spake, Come and let us go to the seer. For he that is called a pro now called a prophet was before time called a seer, man. You see? Why? Because the prophecies are Salakia. Because the prophets have foresight. Okay? They can see, they can see in the future. <laughs> Okay, they can see what's coming down the pipeline. What does prophecy mean? To say before. You see, and this divine communication is being channeled between the fourth dimension and onto the, onto the, onto the spirits of these prophets, man. Which are able to intellectually break down and explain these dark sayings, parables, and prophecies, man. You see, because when you go to... um. When you get this word seer real quick. Strong's H, 7203. Roe. Roe. Right, it goes into what? Seer, prophet, right? Prophetic vision, man. Okay? Prophetic vision. So the source of... The understanding of this Bible is going to come from first and foremost, the servants, the prophets, Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord power will do nothing unless he reveal his secret, right? Which goes into his counsel, man, unto his servants, the prophets. You see point blank, period. You know? But here it is. Let's get that. Let's get this short clip. And you got everybody and their mother talking about it now. Let's go here. Bear with me. On from. Go ahead and pause that right here. Yeah, you got everybody and their mother talking about it now. But guess what? Don't forget where you heard it first, man. Okay? The true men of the Lord. The elders and apostles, the great millstone on down. You see that? We going home in a minute, man. Hey, but before we get there, it's going to get ugly. And for those of you that don't believe that this MOTB is the uh, device, the size of a grain of rice, hey, go ahead and take it. <laughs> And exactly what's been being said is going to happen to you. Watch it play out. Because as it says in Ezekiel 33 and 33, I believe. I want to say Ezekiel 33, 33. Uh, when these things come to pass, lo, they will come. Then shall they know that there was a prophet among them, man. Huh? Blink-18, formerly Blink-182? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so that sort of puts the idea in my head that, like, maybe we have been warned about this through fiction uh, for a long time. And I can, you can think of so many cautionary tales, Gattaca, um, yeah, Hunger Games, all of these. The drip, uh, like, sort of the drip feeding of it. I mean, but you don't even need, like fiction now in modern days all you need to do is look at the bible you know and looking at this prediction of the mark of the beast and this idea of of being able to to track um so i don't know i mean and this is i, I don't know if that's a literal interpretation of mark of the beast though i mean the mark of the beast is a sign of evil like a sign of you know i i'm not sure it, if it if it was uh i Maybe my, my interpretation is, is a, a bit more literal than that or figurative. Mm. Is that what, what do you mean by that? Well, I mean, everyone in the chat is saying that. And that's, you know, there are people saying the Bible. Yes, the mark of the beast, the Bible. So is it, you know, I, I, I don't know. We had uh, some Bible scholars. I so you see how not only does he see it, but there's individuals all throughout their chat that see it. Okay. But she doesn't see it. And what you're going to find out is that she's a Jehovah Witness, which explains why she's so, uh, <laughs> so deep in darkness regarding understanding of the scriptures, even though she says that she read Revelations many times. So she's never came across Revelations 13 and 16, where it says he causeth all, but needless to say, the point I was making previously regarding there's going to be individuals that know, there's going to be people that know 
of this MOTB and, 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 and actually understand that it's relating to uh, the prophecy in Revelations 13. But guess what? When that temptation comes across their plate, okay, they're still going to take it if Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh is not dealing. Okay? Pursuing of Revelations 3 and 10. You know, there's even going to be those of the circumcised, man, those of the circumcision, those that know that they're Israelites that even have taught not to take it, okay? And what it is, that are going to end up taking it and fall into temptation. You see, this is why we, hey, speaking about speaking behalf of myself first and foremost, pray to the pray for the Lord for protection and guidance and the strength to endure until the end, man. You see, hey, it's a fearful thing, man, to fall into the hands of the living power. You know, that's why we we all need that mercy. Thought you had to sort story. of you you wouldn't just accidentally get like. Or it wasn't for, like, just the poorest. You know, the, the mark of the beast was, like, something deliberate, more deliberate than that. But More deliberate than what? Someone injecting you with a, a, a piece of... Right, you don't just prey on people and then eat them up like the mark of the beast, right? <laughs> you would get it more deliberately than that. So it doesn't just show up on people unless... I, I, I don't know. I, I'm just not sure how well, that you know what plays else is out. Scary. It, yeah. This is why women should just be quiet. Why, what, yeah, what, this is why women should just just be quiet. This is why, <laughs> pursuing the Corinthians, women are not able. Women are not supposed to speak in the church. They're not supposed to usurp authority over their man. They're supposed to be silent in the churches. Why? As you can see, what she's doing here, okay? She's sowing confusion. That's this is what women typically do. They sow confusion. You see, this is why you you're not even supposed to say anything in the church. Just, just be quiet, okay? If you're a woman, or if you're, if you're just a, 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 a on standby man, okay, with a bat, okay, and two baseballs hanging from your waist, all right. But you're not a prophet. You need to be quiet, okay? You, you, you. When you start tapping into the scriptures and trying to break down and dissect and, and bring understanding regarding these prophecies. This is above your pay grade, man. It's above your pay grade. You see that? Let's continue on. Let's talk me. about what you're talking about right now and then add in the millions of uh, genetically modified mosquitoes that they're releasing into Florida, Texas. You know, we talk about being injected with things. It's like they, they don't leave much open for... It's like it seems conspiratorial, but like this stuff is happening lockstep with each other and it's like they're ha like these people meet and they come up with these like these are uh brains that come together and think of how can we manipulate things they they know stats they know data and they and they are planning something specific and they know exactly what they're doing and they know how to do it through propaganda and and like the things that like getting people on board with these things by making it a convenience so you know i fear that a majority of people are going to fall for this just based on the convenience alone yeah. Okay. Well, I should couch the fact that I was raised a Jehovah's Witness and I have read the book of Revelation many times. Uh, that faith takes it very literally. And w the way that that is taught is that the mark of the beast is for the non-believers, the sort of non-faith acceptors. And so you would have to opt into it as a bad person. It wouldn't just show up on all of us. Um, if we were righteous, that does not seem to be the interpretation that people who are saying this in the chat subscribe to. Um, so I would have to re-examine that. I didn't. I didn't think that it was something that could just be for all of us. As we know, I'm just gonna pause that real quick. Pursuant to Ezekiel, uh, what's that? Ezekiel nine. Uh, the only ones that are gonna be able to be protected from getting this thing are those that have the tawa. Okay, which is the mark of mark of exemption from judgment. You can read about that in Ezekiel, the ninth chapter. Okay, and this only has to do with Israelites. You see, and you under you, that Jehovah Witness man. I can't tell you how many Jehovah Witnesses um, you know, we done, you know, scripturally, spiritually uh, dusted, <laughs> you know, from Saturday to Saturday uh, out here. You know, not to boast in any way, shape, or form, but just to, you know, bring to light the dogma coming out of that um, 
denomination. Uh, just one of one of one of many of them. All of them. All the all the wacky tacky Christian denominations. It's all dogma. It's all false doctrine, and it all it, it's, it's all based off of precepts of men. Okay, it all stems from Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Islam. Okay, it all stems from Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. You see, but this truth, okay, that came out of one West. <laughs> okay, hey, whether you like it or not, this is the truth. Okay, this is why it's constantly, uh, it's constantly tested. You see, you have individuals that want to constantly test this doctrine. You know, you got Vocab Malone and uh, Michael Brown and uh, <laughs> uh, these, all these other wacky tacky, uh, bugged out, okay, Christians, these pastors that want to try to uh, find a, a chink in the armor, okay, regarding this gospel. But what's 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 being found out, okay, is that there is no weak spot in this in this armor, okay? Why? Because pursuing the Jeremiah the third chapter, Yahweh Yahweh Shai sent us pastors according to His heart, according to His mind, man. Okay, that are feeding us with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You see. <laughs> This is why this, the, 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 hey, Matthew 24 and 14, this gospel, this is the gospel that's going to be preached throughout all four corners of the earth, okay? And then the end's going to come. But, but the point I want to make is you see how she can't see it? She's under this false pretense that it's, it can't be that. And, but, I mean, one point, you know, that she made that made sense was obviously uh, the unbelievers are definitely going to end up getting it. You know, but again, it, it, the, the heathen are through. You're not involved in this uh, decision making of uh, the believers and you know what I mean? The unbeliever. No, that's only Israel related. You see, the wicked of our people, the two thirds are going to get it. OK, the one thirds are going to hold fast even till death and not get it. OK, and still be um, uh, qualified, still have a seat. OK, in the first dominion. You see, I just want to make that point. But you can see that she had her and every, you know, a lot of other people, even 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 uh, <laughs> you got you got leaders of uh, Israelite congregations that can't see it. that think it's an embargo or white woman or uh, Christianity. You see, or, or sin. These niggas are crazy. But scripture goes into a hey, and guess what? They're going to perish, man, because they lack that ability. Let's get a quick preset. We're going to come back to that video real quick. But that's what, hey, that's what inspired me to do this lesson. That, that, that part of the clip, that part of the video right there. Uh, let me see. Proverbs 29 and 18. It reads, where there is no vision, right? Where, where there's no foresight, where there's no prophecy. You see? The people perish. Why? Because they don't see it coming, man. They get caught in the snare of the fowler. Okay? They get caught in the snare of the fowler, man. Because they ain't see the, uh, like it says in Proverbs, uh, what's that, one? Let me go get that real quick after we read this. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he, man. Right? And the elect of Israel are going to keep the law to the best of their ability, man. And walk in righteousness. They're going to walk in the light. Okay? Therefore, they're going to be guided and guarded and protected. Okay, from the snares of the fowler. Let's get this real quick. The fowler being Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. A fowler is a, uh, a bird catcher. Uh, <laughs> he sets bird traps. Check this out. Surely, Proverbs 1 and 17. Surely in vain the net. Okay, the, the trap. <laughs> right? The snare is spreading in the sight of any bird. Right? Okay, because hey, if a bird sees a fowler laying a bird trap, well, they're not going to fly by that. You see that? And we're liking unto those birds that see this fowler laying traps, man. We see this evil nigga laying out these landmines. We see what this nigga's doing. See? We see his mindset and his ideas towards uh, what he wants to do with society. You see? We know that he's our arch enemy pursuing the Psalms 83. And history itself proves this. You see, but two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans don't. 
Just like how you went down there and got that Viper juice, you're going to go down there and get that sea hit. See? Because you have no vision. You lack the vision. Let's go back to the video real quick. Yeah, I'm not a um, I'm not a biblical scholar. Okay. So I'm not uh, I'm not, you know. Okay, we we unintentionally stepped in something we didn't mean to. We uh, we you said mark of the beast i'm just saying that this is this has been repeated over and over again that this is and that i'm repeating what the chat is saying here that this is the mark of the beast and that this is a admission or moving away from f f i don't know uh from jesus christ i guess and wanting to say we'll, we'll just go along with the system we will just become part of the right and the system being what this revived roman empire the beast consisting of nato and the eu let's go back to the scriptures man Okay, so he sees it. Clayton sees it. <laughs> Natalie's in outer darkness. You know, but needless to say, let's get it. Let's go get the prophecy. Okay. Revelations 13 and 16. And one other thing she mentioned was she thought it was only for the poorest regarding the MOTB. No. What does it say here? Revelations 13 and 16. And he causeth all. Who's he? First and foremost. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man in the form of these international banking family elites. You see? And all being everybody, okay? He causes all, right? Both small and great, right? Old and young, right? Rich and poor, free and bond, okay? That's everybody to receive a M-A-R-K. Where? In their right hand or in their foreheads. And that's even him when you read Revelations 14, 16, and I believe, um, uh, I want to say 19 or 20, one of the two, when it reiterates uh, this MOTB. But needless to say, let's get this word M-A-R-K. Hey, that's everybody. Okay? And as a matter of fact, before we even get that, what can you can and not do with this MOTB. Check this out. Revelations 13 and 16, 17. And that no man might what? Buy or sell. Save he that had the M-A-R-K. Okay, why? Because this is the new monetary system that these devils are setting up. What the hell do you think Fed Now is about? Okay, UBI. What do you think this is all about? This is this, this the new digital currency, man. Okay? <laughs> hey, you don't you don't if you don't transition with this system, you're gonna be ostracized. And ultimately you're gonna be hunted down and eradicated. Okay? See? And that no man might buy or sell. Save he that had the M-A-R-K. You cannot buy yourself. You can't move around. You can't trade. Okay? You can't make any transactions. You can't buy food. You can't do anything. What is it if it's not this grain of rice? Or the name of the beast or the number of his name and the name and the number are synonymous. Okay? Why? Let's continue reading. Here is wisdom. See, you got to have wisdom to understand, to understand this. Let him that have understanding. You got to understand, right? Count the number of the beasts, okay? For it is the number of a man, right? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, right? And his number is 600, three score, and six. And this is going into the universal product code, okay? That's the number of his name. See that? Which is going to be on the C hips. So if you take this device, you have his name and his number on you, man. You've pledged allegiance to the devil that the Bible speaks of. Let's get this, let's get this word M-A-R-K real quick. Strong's G, 5480, Haragma, Haragma. Right, when you go into the uh, biblical usage, it goes into what? A stamp, right, and imprinted M-A-R-K, right, because it has to go under the skin. Right of the of the M A R K stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the anti Mashayak. Right, that's it. You again, you pledge allegiance to evil E if you take this thing. You see, you're saying that he's your he's your god. 
Okay, and you as an Israelite to do that, and that's a capital offense, man. As we're commanded not to bow to, to not to uh, put any God before our power. You see, right? Hey, then carved, right? Sculpture, graven work, right? It go again. It goes under the skin, right? Idolatrous image. This thing's an idol, Jake. And you know how the Lord feels about you worshiping idols. That was the main part of our downfall, man. Idol worship. Joining ourselves to the heathen. And that's exactly what you niggas are about to do if you let this man climb up inside you mm -hmm. with that grain of rice. And the phone chimed in. Okay? And again, you're either going to catch the big C. Hey, we spelled it out for you earlier, man. Okay? Or you're going to get a missile, okay? Right at the, right at the, put up, uh, man, hitting you right up top of your head, man. Okay? And if you don't get, if you don't get the big C or the, or the, or the missile, hey, you're going to catch something in between. Okay? Which are various scourges, plagues, and calamities that Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai has planned. Okay? In the form of teeth of wild beasts. Okay? There's going to be a civil unrest. Right? Hey, uh, pestilence. You see? Oh, how can I forget? Famine. Famine, man. That double barrel shotgun. As coined by the beloved brother, Aaron. Over here in the camp. That double barrel shotgun, man. Is going to take your life. You and your whole family is going to starve out. With sea hips in you, man. Second Ezra 16 goes into how you're going to be in derision. Those of you that uh, uh, agree with this nigga. You see? So you've been warned, Jake. Hey. You've been warned. Oh, how can I forget? I pretty much mentioned the missiles that are going to come meet you. If you end up taking it. That's in this perfection. That's the judgment in this perfection pursuing the Revelations 14 and 9 and 10. You're going to be burnt alive. In the presence of the angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Hey, go read it. If you don't believe me. You've been warned, Jake. And we're going to keep warning you. We're going to warn you, man. We're going to warn you until, hey, we're going to keep blowing our trumpet. Let's close out right here. But only the wise are going to understand. The book of Hosea, chapter 14 and verse 9. We'll close out right here. Who is wise and he shall understand these things? Prudent, and he shall know them and starting with the elect, okay? The, the men of the Lord, first and foremost, and the trickling down to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children, they're going to be the wise and prudent, okay? That understand these prophecies, that believe the report, okay? And avoid that serpent, man, that forked tongue demon, that liar, that deceiver, that profane, per perverse, Spiritual, physical kind of part of the spiritual demon, Satan, evil E. You see? For the ways of the Lord are right, and the just, which are the elect, shall walk in them. But the transgressors, the two thirds, shall fall there in, man. You see? So, Jake, you've been warned, man, time and time again, okay, not to take this C hip. You, know, you got Jake watching other congregations, they're, they're, uh, they're window shopping, okay? They're watching all these various uh, camps and uh, Israelite uh, congregations, you see? Hey, scripture says to keep that, eye, keep, that, keep that eye single, man. You see? Hey, because hey, that sift is still going. That sift is going to be going until the last moment, <laughs> You see? Hey, get right, Jake. Get in, get in the mix while you still can. You better, hey, time is ticking. You want to be a basketball player? You niggas want to be actors? And you want to be a professional runner, nigga? You're wasting your time. This place is out of here. You're laboring in vain. Yahweh Shai is on the way, man. Hey, this thing is coming, man. Hey, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that video from Redacted. In the description box, Lord willing. Go watch that video, man. Those of you out there uh, that are in that lollygagging spirit. You see? Hey, go watch that video. This is a reality, man. This is not a game. This is not a game, man. 
You better seek the Lord while you still can. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak with us. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf were edified. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kal Halaliam La Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakak Kwidash Shalom.